can yeah. understand her. Well, like old Elvis be Pagellus, there was no old Elvis. <laughs> he died when he was 42. So, it, it, is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> That's a rhetorical question. What do you like better? Oh, well, look at you. <laughs> Did you see Bubba Hotep? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't ask the polite people in the room. I asked the rude people in the room. Do you, have you seen Bubba Hotep? then you don't really know what you're talking about. <laughs> God bless you. Thanks for nothing. Yes, right here in the front, yes. Why did I give my dog whiskey and my name is Bruce? Because that movie was real. <laughs> and my dog is an alcoholic. <laughs> he doesn't bark, he barks. <laughs> Why would I give my dog whiskey in my own roof? You really? You're looking for logic in that movie? Kid? I just cleaned my Airstream trailer. It's looking better. We didn't accomplish anything with that. Yes. Wow. Where the hell are you? Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll get back to you, sir. She cut in. That's fine. How is it? What? Hey, how you I sat with Zena and Hercules. It was all right. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Because again, we had leeway with the script, as they say. We were forced to ad lib. Horrible working conditions. Oh. Lucy Loss was very friendly, so was Kevin Sorbo. Was, you know. What was the other tweet? Who said you were nice? <laughs> yeah. No, it was a very good experience. It was a good six years of long trips from Los Angeles to New Zealand. Yes, in the back. Uh, this is kind of a more serious question. A more serious question. What was that? Thank God that people are so interested in serious issues. <laughs> First of all, I'm very, uh, I like your work very much, especially for notice. Uh, <laughs> I think it's back on the air June 14th. Thank you very much. All new episodes. What a season is coming your way. Good golly. Out of everything that you've ever acted. Everything that I've ever. Uh -huh. uh, what was your favorite uh, scene that you've ever done and why? My favorite scene I've ever done and why was the second Old Spice commercial. <laughs> the most money in the shortest time doing something I couldn't do, which is sing or play the piano. So, thank you Procter & Gamble for that, I appreciate that. The response of God of entertainment. All right, thank you. All right, security, come on over here. Yes, right here. Yes. How do I like working with the Cone Brothers? The Fancy Pants Cone Brothers. Joel Cohn used to bring me coffee when he was the assistant editor of Evil Dead. So, so I could have seen it. How do they like working with me? <laughs> no, they're great. They, they they make movies like nobody else. The way they film, but you stick to their words. They like their script. You don't kick around with their script because they actually take time to write them. <laughs> yes, try you again, sir. You're a what? A chef. I used to be a taxi driver, and I would drive a chef home every night. You know what he smelled like? Old lettuce. <laughs> just take a minute and go. Like a salad that's just gone off a little bit, because he's crunching it under his feet on those little rubber mats the whole time. And he's making a little paste, a little lettuce paste under there. And then he gets into my cab. Anyway, so that's my, that's my experience with chefs. Wonderful, like old spice. <laughs> the Bruce Camarino. 